Every morning for the past nine months, Fathallah Karawani brings his tools to this busy street in Suleymaniyah, located in Iraq's northern Kurdish region. A father of two, Karawani left his family back in Iran as he set out to search for work. There is no work in Iran and the money we get there is not enough for living. For example, I earn less than two dollars per day, but here it's better, that is, if there's work. High inflation, skyrocketing unemployment, and rising cost of living have forced thousands of Iranians to look beyond the borders of the Islamic Republic. Many blame crippling U.S. sanctions. They have affected everything. Goods got more expensive, especially if you live in a rental house and have kids. The U.S. sanctions are getting worse by the day as they make living harder for people there. Compared to the dollar, local currency has lost so much of its value, which makes goods more expensive. Workers like Rahman earn between 15 to 20 dollars per day, picking up day jobs in kitchens or on construction sites. But it's not easy. Living in Iran is really not good, and life gets worse every day there. I've been living here for a month with no work yet. The vast majority of those coming here are Iranian Kurds who share language and religion with their Iraqi Kurdish neighbors. As more U.S. sanctions are imposed, Iran's economy, already stressed by the American restrictions, will see more and more Iranian workers crossing into neighboring Iraq seeking work opportunities, often competing for jobs against the local population. The influx of workers has driven local wages down, according to one local laborer who didn't want to speak on camera. Abdel Majid Saleh, director of workers' department in the Ministry of Labor, says the number of illegals has swelled. These workers are illegal as far as the Ministry of Labor is concerned. They have a visitor's visa, which they received when they entered the country. The money these workers earn in Iraq goes to support their families back home in Iran. Some have work permits, others don't. The presence of illegal workers has many negative effects. Their number exceeds the needs of the region. These workers also work for less. They work more hours, earn less, and accept any job. Ibrahim says it's not easy leaving his family behind, but he has no choice. He blames the United States. It's affecting the poor people. As you see, there are many of us here that left their families. If it isn't for being poor and in need of money, who would leave his family? If my kid has a health issue, who would take care of him and take him to a doctor? If I was there, I would take care of him. But since I'm far, I don't have a choice. From Suleymaniyah, Muhammad Al-Qasim, reporting for the Media Line.